you're just gonna shift your weight forward into a standing split. And you're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then placing that left foot back into a lunge, lifting your hands up, bringing them to your hips, sh bringing your hips more down. And then you're just gonna pulsate here for a few seconds. Again, just tuning into our body, tuning into how it feels right now. And then you're gonna open yourself to a triangle as this is gonna be our next pose. So if you need, you can go on and grab a block so that way you can help lift your chest up higher. If you're hanging out by your knee, make sure you're not pressing too much on your knee here. Try to just keep a soft, um, soft, what is it called? Like a uh, grip on your hand. And then if you feel that you're getting too many tingles on your hand or if you have high blood pressure, just bring your hand down by your hip or you can even hold it on the back over here. Just tuning into that body, tuning into how you feel, opening up through the hip and through the chest. And if you want, you can have that hand up and then having your gaze up to the sky or having it down. Each gaze is gonna do something a little bit different to your body. So notice where you feel that you need it most. Right now, I like how it feels when I have my hand down and I'm gazing downwardly, but I'm still keeping that hip engaged by bringing it more to the back side of the wall. So it's not slouching forward, it's moving back and I'm shifting through the shoulder opening up through the shoulder as I'm gazing down. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Again, tuning into your surroundings. If you want, you can do the same exercise as we did uh, just before by closing our eyes and tuning into our body. By removing one uh, sense, we are able to be more in tune with our body and our surroundings. We're able to just become more aware. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale and try to see if you can sink a little bit further. Again, keeping the chest high, keeping it engaged. So if you're kind of like rotating to the front side of the wall as your back hip is moving to the back side. So it is creating that twist, which is also really good for your digestion. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And tune into whatever you're listening to. Maybe you have a pl playlist on. Notice how the melody is syncing with your energy. Notice how there's a fine synchronicity in the in the song within the rhythm. Try to match your breathing with the rhythm of the song. Maybe you do not have any music on, but maybe there's a fine balance within your thoughts and your breath or the sounds around that you hear. Okay, and just a few more seconds here. In five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly coming out. Let's counter it through through an extended warrior two, a revolving warrior two. There you go. Maybe you feel the release through a burp or through 
through your chest. And let's bring ourselves down to the down dog. I'm just gonna repeat the opposite side that we did. So we're pedaling out the feet here. And if you're just starting out with this video, you may want to go back to the other one so that way you get a balance in both sides. So let's bring our left leg up into the sky. And you're ready. We're going to be doing a lizard pose. So taking the left foot to the outside of the mat and finding where you feel comfortable in this pose. You can bring your knee down and keep it up. You can flex. Um, have your toes curled or have them extended out. Just be mindful of your knee. You can always take a blanket and put it behind you. And for this pose, we're just going to be placing our left hand to the knee and just pushing ourselves. So you're pushing downward and it's slowly creating an opening for your hip. Opening up that chest as well. And keeping a nice, not so tight grip with the left side. You can bring your hand to a fist so that way it can help elevate you. You can also go grab a block so that way the block helps lift up the chest. So we don't want to be slouching, we don't want to be, you know, feeling weird in the pose. Find the comfort through using your prop props. Props are not that you're lacking in anything. Props are just here to help you align better with your body. Again. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. So you can stay here or you can level down to your forearms or maybe just come back to your this neutral spot right here and then feeling it out. If you feel too much tightness, make sure to just rock forward and back a couple times. So that way you just open up your hips, loosen them up a little bit more. You got this. So maybe you feel that this side is a bit more uh, flexible than the other one. So um, just enjoy the journey, feel it out. Again, close your eyes if you want to. That way you can tune more into your body, tune more into the messages that your body has to tell you. Maybe ask what it is that it's craving is there any food that you've been that you've been wanting to try or that you haven't had in a while and that you've been thinking about is there any new activity you've been longing to try take this next couple days to start something new to start what you truly have wanted to, to do to what your heart has really been desiring it's time to put yourself first it's time to start living your best life. And we can remember more as we open our body, as we tune inwardly. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Focusing on stretching out your hamstring. Working that psoas muscle. If you sit all day or if you're standing all day, these are really good stretches for you. I just had an art market that I attended and displayed most of my artwork and I was standing for most of the time and my feet were definitely killing it and that's basically what motivated me to make a video for you and to come back to the map for myself as well. I guess it's that standing for multiple hours that finally made me cave in to do some yoga so your body will tell you when it's ready to come back to the mat your body will tell you what it's wanting and longing to do the more we overstrain it the more it's actually going to be talking to us inhale 
and exhale. Again, just finding the place, finding the spot where you can go a little bit deeper without overstraining your body. I'm gonna be holding for a couple more seconds. Send your breath to those areas. Send your breath to the areas of discomfort. Good, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. And slowly, you can just rock side to side here just to get that hip a little bit more open. And then slowly bring yourselves in. We're just gonna do the counter pose here. So we're wanting to sit down, but we're not sitting down quite. We're having our hands more by our ankles. Our foot is flexed as we go into more of a backward motion. So finding the sweet spot here again, finding your balance, using your core, engaging through the belly, lifting the chest up and sinking down noticing where you feel the tightness in your leg where is it that you feel it inhale and exhale relaxing the neck relaxing the stance you got this And each time you exhale, try to sink a little bit further more into the earth by sitting a little bit more down. Keep engaging this foot. It's easy to just forget about your foot. But the more aware that we're in through our engagement, we're able to help our body open up. Because when you're not so engaged, you may not feel it so much in your leg. But when you are engaged and pulling yourself backward, you're able to deepen into the pose, deepen into the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And if you want to, you can think about your happy place. Where is it that you feel most comfortable and safe? Go there right now as we're deepening into this pose. Sometimes when we're so caught up in our pain, all it could take is just allowing the body to relax within a vision or with, from a memory or from just doing something else. It's okay for your mind to escape to a new reality because then you can come back to your body with more presence, come back to your body with a new appreciation. I've actually had a really bad injury for three and a half years in my ankle. And it was, I think it was nerve damage. That's what it came out to be. And I did a lot of hiking. I did a lot of escaping, as you can say. But what I did find is that my pain returned when I was more inauthentic with myself, when I wasn't being true to myself. So talk to your pain and notice when you feel more pain and when you feel less pain in your body because that's what's going to help you get more in tune with yourself and knowing and realizing what to give your body, what attention you need to give it to and what serves you and what doesn't serve you. So even if you're having or struggling with an injury right now, just talk to it. See what's going on see how you can help it see what it's craving or longing it might be something as simple as you know meeting a new friend talking to someone going out into nature or just revisiting your happy place so revisit your happy place right now and then this next week 
this following week. Go to it physically. Do it physically. Go to your happy place. There we go. And then we're gonna shift our weight forward, coming out of the pose into the standing split. Just finding the balance here and holding it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And dropping the right leg, coming into a lunge, finding your balance, sinking down, hands to center, tucking those hips down just pulsing for a few rounds here then dropping the back leg opening up to a warrior two revolving it and coming down to a triangle and again we're going to be here for a few rounds I'm actually going to turn myself so you can see me again you can grab a block if you have a block so that way you can help elevate yourself. If you're up here, don't have such a tight grip. So that way you're straining your, your knee. And then if you need to, you could just keep a light, um, light, not so flex uh, bend in your knees. So that way you're not overstraining the knee as well. So feel free to modify this pose. The main point for you is to have your right hip towards the back wall and this left shoulder more to the front, so we're creating a twist. So whether you're here or completely straight, just be mindful of your body to what it wants. And then if your hand is downward, make sure that you're, you're just creating that twist. If you have a block, you can even just put it more to the front, so that way you have that twist um, created. Again, if you have high blood pressure, just have your hand down and keep it down here or have it here. You can also look down if you feel that you're overstraining your neck. So lots of modifications. We don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Just follow your body, follow your intuition, follow to what your body is craving right now. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then just focus on your breathing here. Try to breathe just through your nose, noticing how that makes you feel. If your nose is stuffy, then just work with your mouth. But if you can, with your nose, try just breathing with your nose. Again, send your breath, send your oxygen all throughout your body. Start from the top of your head and slowly sink through your throat, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your legs, and your feet. So creating like a swirl, a cycle through the breath. In and out, in and out. And finding your own natural rhythm through your breath. And if you want to try, I do have a couple meditations that you can do and I do a little bit of breath work in them. Um, but it's really mainly just learning how to just be aware in your body. So lots of body scans. It's definitely a form of yoga nidra. And it's very beneficial to, I guess, to having a more clear mindset. So if you feel that your mind is just str struggling a little bit, or you're just, you know, too much chatter in it, try, try a guided meditation. Sometimes when people say, oh, you should meditate, meditate. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, using breath awareness might give you more anxiety or um, just doing it by yourself can also just make you feel 
as if you don't know if it, you're doing it right or not. So there's lots of different contemplations when you do it out by yourself. I personally too listen to guided ones. They help me relax more and go into that deep meditative state of like falling asleep. So if you want to, if you're interested, um, there are some meditations that you can go through in my videos. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's come up to that warrior two. Let's revolve it. And then now we're just gonna come on down to the floor here with our hands. Just moving your hips side to side. Maybe you can even widen your stance here. Bend through the elbows. And then push up through the earth. So that way you feel a stretch in that upper back here. Breathe in and breathe out. Almost as if you're fo gonna fall forward, but you're keeping your hands engaged. Just working through that middle back and the upper back, our shoulders. Nice engagement through the chest, through the hands, feeling the energy, feeling your flow. And try to rock forward and back. This will also help activate your stance and to activate your shoulders, being mindful of your wrists. Inhale and exhale. Really push through the earth. Really feel the support from the earth, from the ground. Good. So if you feel a little bit dizzy coming out of the pose, if you feel good, then try to go deeper into the pose by bending your elbows. So try bending your elbows and also rocking forward and back. Notice how it's gonna engage different parts of your legs, as well as maybe now more towards your lower back, you feel it. Breathe in and breathe out. When we have our face upside down, it helps to circulate our blood. Breathe in and breathe out. if you want to, since you're more grounded with your feet now, you can take your hands to the back and collapse them and bring them more forward. Again, noticing the difference here in these variations with your hands. Using your breath. Using your core here for your strength. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then let's bring our feet more closer together. I'm just gonna go into a forward fold. Your legs are about hip widths apart, apart grabbing your elbows. I'm just gonna rock side to side here. Again, just noticing how you feel, noticing how you're doing. You can bend your knees to support your lower back. This can also help you sink a little bit further. Again, playing with the levels, playing with how this makes your body feel. You may even feel that your legs are shaking right now. It's a good sign. Your body is very thankful for these stretches. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. 
You can grab the earth and then you can also keep swaying. Find your breath. You can close your eyes as well and just sway, sway left and right. Tuning into your surroundings, tuning into what you hear. You got this. And notice any messages that may come through from your body. And if you'd like, you can call upon your guides, call upon your future self, call upon your angels, anyone that you like to communicate with. Ask them to come down so that way they can guide you through for this new cycle. It can help you guide through to start your new passions, your endeavors, whatever it is that you want to start and begin. Call upon your guides for guidance. When you do not know, call upon your future self. Your future self knows what to do. Simply ask. Be more present as presence will help you to communicate with them. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Very good. Now you're just gonna come up halfway and come on down again, halfway, and come on down, and then reach up all the way up to the sky. And then we're gonna come down into a little flow. So coming into your plank, through the chaturanga, lifting up to a cobra, feeling that low back, feeling your body, and let's come down to a child's pose. And this time, let's have our knees more closer in, so that way we can massage our ab abdomen and our abdominal muscles, and to just really sink into the earth, really sink into this pose. Because this will be our final pose. So you can stay here, or you can go into a savasana, whichever one you feel most guided to do, whichever one you feel most empowered to try. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Just reflecting back from the beginning of this practice to how you felt, to how maybe, to how maybe you just didn't feel so connected to yourself. Notice how you feel right now. How your body is more open, more thankful. Maybe you feel sore. I definitely feel sore. But I know that my body feels good. I know that I need to do more of this. And even when I forget, I can just forgive myself. And when the time is right, I will remember to come back to my mat. I will remember what makes me feel good. I will remember that I am not alone. So stay here as long as you need to. Your body is very thankful right now. So remember to thank yourself. Remember to drink lots of water. Remember that you are the best version of your true self. Call upon your guides when you feel in need of guidance or some direction. Remember to take a breath, to send your breath up to your brain, to give it oxygen, to clear your thoughts. Your breath is so powerful in that. So when you use your breath consciously, you're able to release blocks in your body. You're able to flow better. So use this most powerful tool of your breath 
your awareness, your consciousness to make you feel better. And when you forget, just turn this video back on. Turn on this flow again to remind yourself how good it feels to be in your body. To remind yourself how good it is to be yourself. Tell your body that you love it. I love you, body. Thank you, body. I care for you. I love you, body. I love you, body. I love you, body. Say it and feel it. Roam your toes all the way up to the tips of your fingers. Fill your whole body with love. Fill your whole body with presence. You are ready to start your day. You are so ready to start living your best life. Today is the day to start that. Don't wait any longer. But if you forget, you will remember at the right time. Because that time will be the present time. And it will be the most joyous time of your life. And when you're ready, you can come to back to a seated position. Thanking yourself. Viewing all the sensations in your body right now. You put your hand to your heart. Taking one final breath, allowing the energy to sink into the earth. Feeling the earth, thanking the earth, and thanking yourself. So be sure to share this video with at least one friend to help them feel as good as you feel right now. Be sure to like and subscribe this video comment to how you feel if you feel called to and you can check out my website to see my art aloha